and the Cal, and welcome to my world. It is the end of the month, which only means one thing, DIY Gaming Box Time. So, if you don't know what happens, at the end of every month, at the end of these videos, I spin this lovely little roulette wheel here. Whatever number it lands on correlates with a games console I own. Then for the next month I have to collect for that console with a budget of £25, trying to find a nice balance of quality and quantity. Last month I spun the wheel and it landed on the Microsoft Xbox. So the original Xbox, one of my favourite consoles, it's the one that I had for that generation. I skipped over the PS2 and even the GameCube uh, for some reason. I had the PS1 and I went to the original Xbox. Loved it, still on my original today, on a really nice collection of games. Uh, I think I'm closing in on 100 now for the original Xbox, so yep, yeah, great stuff. So, let's see just what I was able to get with my £25 for the original Xbox. Right, okay, firstly we have a £3 game. Oh, and this is uh, a terrible game, but it's for my wrestling game collection, and that is Backyard Wrestling. I already owned this on the PlayStation 2, but I also wanted the Xbox version as well. I did also order Backyard Wrestling 2, uh, sorry, not Backyard Wrestling 2, uh, Legends of Wrestling. Uh, cause I think I own Legends of Wrestling 2 on the Xbox, but not 1 and 3. I wanted that as well, but it was out of stock. So I ended up with just Backyard Wrestling for wrestling games. It's terrible. It really is just a terrible, terrible game. An interesting premise, obviously, going to the backyard wrestling, you're jumping off rooftops, putting people through tables, using crazy weapons and that. But it just controls like crap. Yeah, so uh, it's for the wrestling collection. Let's put that there. Next up we have another £3 game. It's a sequel to a game I already owned on the original Xbox, which was a reboot of an old game from the arcade and the NES. Big fan of the NES version. I wasn't too keen on the reboot, the first one, uh, but I picked up the sequel anyway, and that is Spy Hunter 2. Yep, go around driving a car, shooting at things in front of you, and occasionally behind. Yep, um... I did enjoy playing through this a little bit more than I did the first one. I don't know, maybe they just polished things up a bit for the sequel. But yeah, I just did the tutorial where you're just driving about, uh, jumping over some gaps and things and shooting stuff. So yeah, probably a decent game if I put more time into it. So we'll see. Yeah. Right, another £3 game. It's another sequel as well to a game I already own. That is NHL Hits 2003. Not normally a fan of uh, ice hockey, but the games, the hits games in particular, are super duper fun because as well as just having a game of hockey, you can also beat people up. Yeah, one of the main gimmicks is that you can get into fights and if you do beat the people up and they have to unfortunately go off and bring someone else on. Um, you can also tackle them um, during gameplay, just smack them, knock them down, or if you're close to the side, you can knock them through the glass, which is always fun. And you can do big power shots as well, you hold it in, smack it, and it'll turn into fire. Yeah, really, really fun game. Always enjoyed playing the, this one and 2002 back in the day. Uh, it does have a weird feature where you can you you can listen to music um, from that's on your Xbox hard drive. You know, you could rip CDs onto it and that. But it only plays during the pause menu, making it utterly pointless, really, unless you want to pause the game and listen to a couple of songs. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, but fun game, really good. Now we're going up in price to £4.45, and it is a classic Micro Machines. Yep, got little cars, big environments, and you just drive around the track. Didn't really have that much fun with this when I was testing footage. Uh, it just didn't seem to control right. And I, I would try and just drive straight. I wouldn't press anything and I would just go off the edge. Fall off things and hit stuff. It was really weird. Um, there's weapons now that you can pick up and whatnot. Um, yeah, maybe I'll go back to this one again at some point. But I wasn't that impressed with it, unfortunately. Uh, I kind of prefer the older Micro, micro Machines games, uh, the 16-bit versions and the 32-bit uh, for the PlayStation, Super Nintendo, Mega Drive, whatever. Yeah, so a bit disappointed with this one, fortunately. But I'll give it another go at some point and see if I can get some fun out of it. Hopefully I can. 
going up now to five pounds a game that i own on the playstation 2 but i've always wanted to pick up the xbox version because you know uh, better graphics and things it's supposed to be able to do a bit more and that is a uh, first person shooter called black where uh, it basically tells the story of you as a, um, a black operative uh, with a team and obviously something's gone wrong and you're trying to save yourself by being interrogated and things by the US yeah go around shooty shooty things and it was huge back in the day for having destructible environments you would shoot things and there would be bullet holes appear you'd be able to destroy walls and things and apparently there's a lot more of that in the xbox version than in the ps2 version yeah so not not hugely into fps games but i can get a lot of fun out of them if the you know if they play well and black definitely plays well so yeah happy to all that for the xbox now and lastly, a £6 game, bidding up to a total of £24.45, leaving me with £55. This is a game that I played on an Xbox demo discs that I got uh, last year at some point, and it is Cell Damage. And this is obviously cell shaded, and you've got lots of cartoony style cars, um, always reminds me of, um, oh, what was it? Uh, was it Wacky Racers? Yeah, I think that's the one I'm thinking of. Yeah, um, that kind of style, um, but with some twisted metal elements thrown in. Like I think there is a standard sort of race thing. It says on the back, um, gate racing action, I'm assuming that is, but I was in it more for the big death matches where it's kind of like twisted metal. You're all in a single area, a bunch of enemies, and you pick up weapons and you just smash your opponents to pieces but unlike twisted metal where you just deal you know, they've got a big lifeline and you beat them once and they're done no no once you um attack them they'll they'll usually explode and reappear on the map and you have to destroy them like 500 times to do it it's you think it's going to take ages it really doesn't and it's just a boatload of fun different weapons different vehicles that do all different things different environments to roam around in it's an absolute blast so for six pounds very very happy with that game Tons of fun. So, yeah, I managed to get a whole six original Xbox games for £25, which is very good going, because like I said, I've got almost 100 games. I might have 100 now with these. I've been playing the Xbox since... Uh, I think my best friend got one not long after it launched. Uh, they got one for Christmas. I got one a couple of years later. But, yeah, I've been playing it since relatively when it came out. Yeah, so I've been playing lots of games. I own lots of games. Finding new games can be a bit difficult. Uh, a lot of my want list are uh, games that are a little bit more expensive titles now. But, yeah, I'm still able to pick up some uh, more budget titles, whether it's getting uh, Xbox versions of other games on for, of games from other platforms that I already own to get better versions or things like you know cell damage which i don't own micro machines I don't own anywhere else um yeah being able to get those on here in general so i'm very happy with my collection there so all we got to do now is spin the wheel and see what we're going to have to collect for in march of 2023 i'll put that over there that over there gets the lovely roulette wheel i am hoping for next month to have a slightly updated wheel the wheel will still be here there'll be a new board with a new thing with a couple of consoles maybe removed maybe some added multiple more than twice um and hopefully a new box i've been trying to find another box that's a good size but it's very difficult when you don't leave the house <laughs> yeah so uh, let's just move this over here into some better lighting See if I can get this off without uh, accidentally pausing the video. <laughs> oh, hello, game collection. Right, there we go. Let's uh, get in. Focus. All right, let's see what we're going to collect for in March. Ooh, bit uh, dodgy there. There we go. Okay, number 12, which is the Sega Master System. Oh, look at that, it's filthy. See, that's a bit of, that's a bit of um, what do you call it, sellotape there, and it's got bloody dirt and dust on it. Disgusting. Right. See if I can put this back now without uh, messing anything up. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Ooh, almost messed. So, it is the Sega Master System. Uh, I think this has come up maybe twice before now. Um, yeah, it's a system that I've only 
Started collecting for last year when I got uh, the little adapter for the Mega Drive that lets me play Master System games on the Mega Drive because I don't own a console. So yeah, my collection's still pretty small for this system and the games here, still really cheap. So yeah, should be interesting to see what I can pick up with this system. So, I'm Big Cal, thanks for watching, let me know down in the comments below what you thought of the Xbox games I got this month, let me, know if any <coughs> let me know if there's anything in particular for the Master System I should pick up for next month, and I'll see you again next time.